Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the name of Allah, most merciful and most gracious. Uh, our lesson today is for the sixth grade, the second semester, English language. Our book is We Can Six. Unit number four, lesson number two. Unit number four, if you remember, is about a healthy life. A healthy life. Our objectives for today are we can say two things we should or shouldn't do to live a healthy life. We can ask a partner two past tense questions about what we did this morning. Also, we can answer two past tense questions about what we did this morning. Okay. In last class, we answered this question, what should you do to live a healthy life? What should you do to live a healthy life? And we talk about good things that I should do and bad things that I shouldn't do. What are the good things that I should do to live a healthy life? Let's read it together. Number one. I should get up early. I should drink a lot of water. I should eat three meals a day. I should brush my teeth well. I should do some exercise and I should go to bed early. For the bad things that I shouldn't do, we mentioned that I shouldn't eat too much junk food. Junk food is the opposite of healthy food. I shouldn't drink too much soda. I shouldn't watch too much TV. I shouldn't stay up late. I shouldn't play too many computer games. I shouldn't skip breakfast. So to live a healthy life, you should follow these advices. Okay. Do you remember the past tense questions? If I give you a sentence and I want you to make a yes, no questions about this sentence. I played football. Last class, we said that we concentrate on the verb played in which tense is it present or past it's a past tense how do you know because we have ed at the end of the verb played i played football so played is the verb and it's in the past so we need what excellent we need an auxiliary a helping verb did did is the helping ver verb in the past tense. So we will start with did, then the subject, then the verb, like this. Did you play football? So we start with did. We change the I into you in the question. We have the pays form of the verb in the infinitive, play, without the ED. Did you play football? And the answer will be, yes, I did, or no, I didn't. This is about regular verbs. When we have a regular verb, it means that we have ed at the end of the verb. It's a regular verb. What about the irregular verbs, like got up? I got up early yesterday. I got up early yesterday. So got up is the past tense of get up how do you ask a question using okay the past tense yes we will use did then the subject then the verb in the pace form like did you get up early yesterday did because it's in the past tense we change i into you and we will have the pace form of the verb get up early yesterday and the answer will be yes I did or no I didn't okay 
this is was or this was a revision for the last a class okay now our lesson today is on page 13 open your books page 30 please page 30 page 30 it's about reading and writing reading and writing number one listen and read then chant so we have two parts in this chant listen first then we will discuss the pictures early to bed early to bed and early to rise makes you healthy wealthy and wise late to bed late to bed and late to rise makes you sleepy grumpy and tired early to bed and early to rise makes you healthy wealthy and wise late to bed and late to rise makes you sleepy grumpy and tired okay let's discuss early to bed the pictures early to bed look at the first picture what can you see yes this is a boy this is a boy look at the time here what time did he get up or did he go to bed what time did he go to bed yes at eight o'clock so it's early to go to bed it's early and here at what time does he get up yes he gets up at five o'clock he gets up at five o'clock so he get up early in this picture he gets up early so we have the adjective early early is an adjective early it's an adjective it's like I go to bed early I go to bed early I get up early I get up early okay look at the second part of the chant look at this boy at what time does he go to bed oh at 11 o'clock is it early to sleep at 11 o'clock no it's late it's late okay what time does he get up at nine o'clock at nine o'clock is it early no it's late to get up it's late to get up so early is the opposite of it's the opposite of late early is an adjective which, is, which means that it is the opposite of late so we have early to bed but here it's late to bed so they are opposites they are opposites he said early to bed and early to rise early to get up makes you healthy healthy look at this boy he looks very healthy so healthy it means in a good health you are not sick you are fine you are in a well health so healthy it means in a good health in good health and it's an adjective also what about wealthy so 
early to bed and early to rise makes you healthy and wealthy. Wealthy is also an adjective and it means you have a lot of money. You means that you are rich. So wealthy is an adjective. It means having money or rich. Okay, what about wise? Early to bed and early to rise makes you healthy, wealthy and wise. Wise is also an adjective and it means clever or smart. So when you go to bed early and you get up early, okay, that makes you what? Healthy, wealthy and wise. What about, okay, this boy? Late to bed and late to rise makes you sleepy, sleepy. Sleepy, that just means you need to sleep. You need to sleep. Grumpy, it means that makes you angry. You are in a bad mood. Grumpy. So, make, makes you what? Sleepy, grumpy, and tired. Tired, it means that you need to sleep also. So, tired and sleepy have similar meaning. It means that you need to sleep. So this was or these were the new vocab in this chant. Early is the opposite of late. Healthy it means that you are in a good health. Wealthy it means having money. Wise it means clever and smart. Grumpy means angry. Tired and sleepy mean that you need to sleep. Okay, let's move to the part of phonics. Open your books, page 32. Page 32, please. This page, 32. We have phonics. Sounds. We will know new sounds. Listen, point, and practice. We will have you are and I are. Listen to the phonics now and we will know how do we pronounce these two letters. U R says er, er, purple, purple. U R says er, er, purple. I R says er, er, bird, bird. I R says er, er, bird. Remember, U R and I R make the same sound. Okay, so the U R and the I R has the same sound, er, er, like purple, purple, bird, bird. Okay, let's take an exercise about this. U R says er, er, purple, purple. U R says er, er, purple. I R says er, er, bird, bird. I R says er, er. Bird. Remember, U R and I R make the same sound. Okay. Exercise number two. Listen and complete the words used U R or I R. Look at the picture here. What can you see? Shirt. Shirt, shirt. Shall we write U R or I R? Shirt. Let's see. Girl, girl, girl. What's this? Turtle, turtle. What about this picture? 
burger, burger. Listen. Shirt, shirt. Did you write I-R? Girl, girl. Did you write I-R? Turtle, turtle. Did you write U-R? Burger, burger. Did you write U-R? Well done. Now read and spell the words with a partner. So we have shirt, shirt, girl, girl, turtle, turtle, burger, burger. Okay, let's move to exercise number three. Read and then listen. Look at this story. Try to read it. Then you will listen, okay, how to pronounce the words in this story. I will give you just 15 seconds. here. What can you see? A bird, a horse, corn, tree. What color is the bird? Yes, purple, purple. Now listen how to pronounce these words. Did you read the story on your own? Now listen and check your reading. Story of a horse from a farm. A horse from a farm asked a purple bird in the park, Do you like corn? Yes, I do, answered the purple bird. And chirp, chirp, she flew away. Okay. So it's the story of a horse from a farm. A horse from a farm asked a purple bird in the park, Do you like corn? Yes, I do, answered the purple bird. And chirp, chirp, she flew away. I hope that you enjoy our lesson today. Thank you for watching and see you soon.